Hey, happy Saturday. Welcome to Mining Your Business with the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. I'm Chris Spiker, your host. I'm Aaron Goldstein. We are here with our first guest, Cedric White, from the AV Community Uplift Foundation. Hey, welcome, Cedric. How you doing? Wonderful. So you and I, have we've been around for a while. Yes. We've said hi once or twice. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, Senator Scott Wilk was making a presentation in Palmdale the other day, and you were involved. Yes, I was. And I said, I know that guy, and I... You need to be on the radio show. That you did, and uh, you know we met each other in the past, and I'm glad you finally uh, reached out to me. <laughs> like you said, it takes a few times for, and, and you're pretty memorable, so it's it's not like you'd be easily forgotten. But well, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. <laughs> so you work for uh, Ellie County in the probation department. Yes, I've been a probation officer for the past 17 years here in Animal Valley. And then you started a foundation called uh, Community Uplift Foundation. Yes, uh, me and my wife, we started the Animal Valley Community Uplift Foundation, AV Cup for short. Uh, we mentor young men and women, ages 11 to 19, some older, some younger. And we have several initiatives that we push, which is our Animal Valley Kids Matter, Youth Basketball League, and Golf Clinic. And we also do shoe giveaways and uh, a bunch of other things that we do out in the community. We're very active. So many things that need to be done, and you've begun some programs, but you said you could always use a little more help. Yes, we can always use help. We uh, need volunteers for our shoe giveaway. Uh, we need uh, donations for our shoe giveaway, which we'll be doing in February over at the Crossroads uh, Leadership Academy. And uh, if you want to volunteer, you can reach me at 661-400-7691 or go to our website, avcuff.org. And remind me, we'll do the contact information again so they can get a pen and paper ready. Yes, sir. And then you're also involved in the uh, AV Black Chamber of Commerce. Yes, so I've been the chair of the Antelope Valley Black Chamber of Commerce for several years. Uh, we advocate for our small businesses. Uh, we help set their businesses up. We have a lot of people who don't have businesses who want to get, become entrepreneurs, so we help them uh, go through the red tape, get their articles of, of incorporation, nonprofit, uh, whatever it is that they, that they need for their business. So you, you add a little bit of expertise and uh, experience to starting a business or making a small business successful? Correct. We help grow their business and uh, also we get them certified with the county and the state of small business uh, enterprises to help grow their businesses so they can bid on different contracts, whatever their will, will is, we help guide them. Now it's a Black Chamber of Commerce, but can anybody go? No, anybody can join the Black Chamber of Commerce. Um, if, it, uh, if you want to join the Black Chamber of Commerce, feel free to contact me again and uh, we'll get you the paperwork and set you up to become members of the Black Chamber. Sometimes people go, I can't make the meetings, so I, it has no value for me or what do I do? Um, you can still be a member. Yes, you can still be a member. You don't have to come to the meetings. Uh, we would love for you to come to the meetings, but uh, you just contact us whenever you have uh, an issue that you can't solve on your own. And if we can't solve it, we'll help you get in contact with someone who can solve the situation that the, you're in. The meetings are? The meetings are every second Monday. Second Monday? Every second Monday okay. of the month at 6.30. Really? In the morning? No, 6.30 p.m. P.m., thank you. Yes, we, we, we have our meetings in the evening. And uh, are they at the Hilton Gardens? No. So you're talking about the luncheons. Our luncheons are every second Friday. Ah, there we go. At 11.30. So we have our meetings, our general, general board meetings every right. first or second Monday. We have our luncheons every second Friday of the month, 11.30, and this year we'll be having our luncheons at Cold Crush, ah. right there on the corner of uh, Lancaster Boulevard and Sierra Highway. And I bet you've had dinner there already. Yes, I have. The food is great. Pretty good restaurant. Yeah. Derek, he serves a great, uh, great meals. When, as a uh, county probation officer, you probably saw there were a lot of areas where someone, uh, a community group or faith-based group needs to get in and, and supplement what the county is able to do and that's probably where you got the idea for the foundation. 
Yeah, so the idea, <clears throat> excuse me, the idea for the foundation came from, uh, I was talking to my wife about it when we first started the uh, PRCS. A, they call it AB 109, county parole, uh, but we were locking up, uh, were violating a lot of gentlemen who didn't have skills. They were getting out of, released to prison for us to supervise. Yeah. They couldn't read, couldn't write. Uh, had no jobs, the only thing they knew how to do was commit crimes. And I was actually tired of locking them up. I was locking 10 to 15 up a week. So I spoke to my wife about it and we came up with Animal Valley Community Health Foundation. So because they couldn't read or write and they dropped out of school, in middle school, junior high school, we chose to target that population because they're, at that age, they're either gonna go right or left. They're trying to make their minds up. So we're reaching out to them, trying to uh, mentor them and show them that there's a better way, a better way to live life. We expose them to different things they might not have been exposed to. We help them dream big, so they'll have a goal of getting out of whatever situation that they might be in. Um, we have workshops where we mentor um, every first Saturday. We have a basketball league that we run uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. Try to tire them out a little bit. Yes, 6 to 8 p.m., <laughs> try to burn that energy off mm -hmm. and make sure that they're staying off the streets. Uh, we're here to save a life, keep uh, keep them from getting a record, which we all know if you get a felony, it's hard to do anything in life, especially get a job and raise a family. So you tell them, you're talking about dreaming big. Oh, by the way, to dream big, you probably need them to know how to uh, read and write. Yes, so we uh, we push education as a vehicle for them to reach their goals. So dreaming big, having a goal, the goal, the first obtainable goal is getting your education, uh, whether it's at least graduate high school, go to a technical school, get your craft, go to college, get your, get your BS, BA, stay on the right path, stay out of trouble, and we let them know it's not where you start. A lot of us have started for modest means. It's about where you finish. So you need to stay on track, surround yourself with like-minded people who are striving for a goal, Man. not getting in trouble. Man, what keeps you energized? Well, what keeps me energized is uh, I'm vested in my community. I've, I've come from modest means myself, and I'm here by luck. Uh, I could have strayed either way, but I had people in my life that cared about me and kept me on track to reach my goals. Wow. And that's called community. And that's called community. So people have done for me, and I wouldn't be where I am unless I had people reaching out the way we're reaching out. So it's done for me, and the least I can do is do for the upcoming generation seems when you're working with somebody and it clicks, they finally get it, something, one thing goes right for them, then it's probably all worthwhile. Yes, it, it is. Once they see that they can achieve something or we have our uh, speakers come in and talk with them and they see that they came from where they came from, but like last night we had a, uh, we had a Charles Robson come in. He's a NBA referee trainer and a D1 referee, wow. Division One referee. Yeah. And uh, he came in and spoke to him, and that's the message that we relate to the to the young man. Like. So this guy's got to get in his car, and he's got to drive 50, 60 miles out into the desert, and <laughs> there's a room full of people. No, and, he actually and, lives up here. Ah, yes, he actually lives up here, so he didn't have to drive. See, it's who you know. A couple miles. Yes, it's all about who you know. So we're we're actually pushing our uh, two of our initiatives: the uh, shoe giveaway in February. The AV Kids Matter Basketball League and the AV Kids Matter Golf Clinics. So if you would like for your kids to be involved, you can again contact me at 661-400-7691 or go to our website, avcuff.org. Yeah, we're talking with Cedric White. Uh, you're, we're going to call you the president of the uh, Antelope Valley Black Chamber of Commerce. Yes, sir. And uh, then you have a Community Uplift Foundation, and that's where all the good things happen. Yes. And you're working with kids. We're working with kids and, and young adults. That's right. Uh, 
Young adults of all ages. The young adults of all ages. Tell me a little bit more about uh, AB Kids Matter. So AB Kids Matter, it's, uh, these are leagues we put together to keep young, young men and women off the streets. Um, our golf clinics are held on Sundays out at Rancho Sierra with uh, Paul, he's our instructor. And then our basketball leagues are held Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. out at Cole Middle School's gym. And you found these facilities uh, just from people you know. Well, yes, and, you know we had to do a lot of a lot of asking, but it came through. And uh, the basketball and the golf clinics are free, so if uh, you're thinking that you have to pay, you don't. Everything is free. We just want you to come in and stay off the streets and be productive citizens of our community. The purpose of the purpose of the exercise is not to uh, sell tickets, but it's to uh, get people involved. Yes, sir. The more people we have involved, the better off our, our community will be. So we want everybody to get involved. We want all the kids to come out. We want all the parents to come out and support. If the parents are having troubles in life, uh, they can also talk to us and we can direct them to someone who could help them, whether it's a uh, mental health crisis, uh, assistance, financial assistance, uh, just reach out to us. Or just somebody to talk to. Or just somebody to talk to, yes sir. Sometimes all, that's all you need is a friendly face in this uh, cold, cruel world. Yes sir. But it's a pretty cool valley. That it is. And thanks to people like you that get involved. Yes, I love this valley. This valley's been my home for 17, 18 years and it's been a great community. You're an old timer? I would consider myself old timer, <laughs> yes. Been talking with Cedric White. Uh, from the uh, AV Black Chamber of Commerce and AV Community Uplift Foundation. Thanks for being on the show. Hey, thank you, Chris.